Sony heading over there, and it's not Spider-Man news. <laughs> uh, Jason Reitman has set another feature at Sony Pictures, with the studio ordering a film based on the first broadcast of SNL. In October of 1975, Reitman and his Ghostbusters Afterlife co-writer Gil Kinnan uh, Keenan penned the original screenplay for the project, drawing from the pair of series of interviews with living cast, writers, and crew members from the original production. That's really cool. Oh, yeah. The untitled SNL feature continues Reitman's and Keenan's partnership with Sony Pictures, where they are currently in production on the sequel of Ghostbusters Afterlife due to the release in, in theaters this December. So that's very exciting because oh, yeah. the first one was actually really good. The two collaborators signed on an overall deal um, with Sony after the release of Afterlife which grossed about $204 million at the global box office against a $75 million production budget. So it's a nice little profit. Uh, yeah, and I think anytime you deliver profits like that, you get deals. Oh, for sure. <laughs> hey, a replacement is coming. What am I talking about? Well, Tasha Smith is set to join Will Smith and Martin Lawrence in the latest installment of Sony Pictures' Bad Boys franchise. Smith will play Teresa Marcus Burnett's loving and devoted wife. What? What? That's right. It was a role previously played by Teresa Randall in the first three Bad Boys films. Plot details for Bad Boys 4 have been kept under wraps. At this year's CinemaCon, though, both Will Smith and Lawrence expressed their excitement for the film, as we told you last week, revealing that they were roughly four weeks into filming the movie. Uh, no word on why... Teresa Randall dropped out or is being replaced. We, yeah. we don't know if we find that out. We'll let you know, but she is. <laughs> yeah, there it is, man. Um, well, the first trailer of director Neil Bockelkamp's Gran Turismo adapted from the uh, popular PlayStation video game racing franchise has been released. Um, Bullet Camp, whose negotiable directing, uh, notable directing credits include District Nine and Asylum, uh, departs are uh, departs from the uh, typical science fiction subject matter to take on a more sports racing film based on a true story. Uh, Gran Turismo uh, follows a younger teenager who is obsessed with playing the racing video game and uh, gradually takes his controller skills on to the real racetracks. With hopes to become a professional race car driver, Archie Mata plays the film's main character with David Harbour as his racing trainer, uh, Digimon Hanshu as the teenager father, and Orlando Bloom as the motorsports marketing executive. Now, Darren Burnett plays the respective GT Academy driver who feels threatened by the teenager's fast-growing success. The film is set to be released August 11th, through Sony Pictures. This is a very interesting concept. We saw the trailer when uh, watching Guardians. And yeah. I mean, it actually looks really good. And I love, it's a new idea. So, I mean, I love to see it. I know it's a video game idea, but it's, it's a new idea. Yeah, but it's actually, it really happened. This yeah. video game player is driving cars on the circuit. Yeah. He actually made it and is now a real driver. Yeah. So, I mean, it, yeah, it's an interest. The trailer was badass. It was. I fucking loved uh, Orlando Bloom and David Harbour back yeah. and forth. That, that, was, that was great. I, I will say, I've never heard of the game before. I wasn't familiar with this real life story, but the trailer makes me want to see it. Yeah. So kudos to the editors and whoever put it together because it was a badass trailer. This one, I'm not sure why. Why is this happening? Because of nice Taylor Sheridan is resurging everybody's career. So I'm just saying, That's well, true. maybe Creed also had a little bit to do with this. But anyway. Sylvester Stallone is returning for a reboot of his 1993 action thriller, Cliffhanger. Yeah. He's coming back for cliffhanger. What? Sure, sure. Rick Roman Waugh, who helmed action movies Angel Has Fallen and Greenland, is set to direct the feature, which will see Stallone reprise his role of mountain climber and rescue ranger Gabe Walker. Now, the 1993 original movie was directed by Rennie Harlan and was a hit despite a brutal production that almost bankrupt the lead production company back mm. in the day, Carlico, which at two points couldn't even pay the crew Oof. like it got pretty rough it was a hit i i enjoyed the movie i thought it was a good movie i don't see why we need a reboot though yeah i don't i mean you've been there done that like what i mean do we 
I don't know. I just <laughs> very interesting. Very interesting. Well, Jenny Slate is set to join Blake Lively, Justin Baloney, and uh, Brandon Skyler in the uh, Bandaloni directed film adaptation of Colleen Hoover's best selling novel, It Ends With Us, mm. which is currently in development at, with uh, Wayfarer Studios and Sony Pictures. As we've told you in previous episodes, the film follows Lily Bloom, who's played by Lively, and who, despite coming from a complicated past has always known the life she wants while living in boston though she meets a neurosurgeon uh ryle uh, kincaid who believes that she may have very very well found her soulmate so mm. that's cool uh soon however she questions arise about their relationship and to complicate matters her high school love interest atlas corrigan comes back into the picture mm. putting the relationship with ryle in jeopardy slate is set to play the role of ryle's sister Alyssa. so there it is